Hey guys, it's Chris. From lakes of blood to mysterious figures hidden in the desert, here are 10 amazing things caught by satellite. Number 10, giant name. Since the invention of the written word, people have been obsessed with putting their own names in visible places. From ancient graffiti to personalized number plates, sports stadiums, and even skyscrapers, it seems like nothing can avoid being stamped with someone's moniker. All of these pale in comparison, though, to an effort by Hamad bin Hamdan al Nahyan, a member of Abu Dhabi's ruling family, who in 2009 had his name carved into the sands of an island island he owns in the Persian Gulf. The letters H-A-M-A-S were created half a mile tall and two miles long, which means they can easily be imaged by satellites from space. While you may think this is a temporary structure, after all it is made out of sand, the sheer size means that it'll be there for some time to come. It's large enough that waterways have formed that absorb the impact of the approaching tide, so the ocean isn't able to erode it away in the way you'd normally expect. Number 9. The Colonel It seems advertisers will do anything they can to get their brand recognized. And in 2006, KFC claimed that they were the first company to build a version of their logo that was visible from space. Constructed in the Nevada desert on a site to the east of Area 51, the mosaic is made up of 65,000 one-foot square painted tiles to create the iconic image of Colonel Sanders wearing a red apron. Joking at the time, the head of KFC said that if there are any extraterrestrials in space, they'd want KFC to be their restaurant of choice. Now, they weren't the first company to create such a large billboard, though. In 1986, a Coca-Cola bottle in the desert of Chile turned 70,000 empty glass bottles into a giant Coca-Cola logo, which measuring 120 by 400 feet is also very visible by satellite from space. Number 8. The Eye of the Sahara The Rakat structure, which is also known as the Eye of the Sahara, is a geological structure in the sands of Mauritania, but one where you can only appreciate its full glory when you've seen it from space. From ground level, you can hardly tell you're inside the 25-mile-wide dome, which has taken more than 100 million years to erode. The rock that's been exposed here dates back to the late Proto-Rozoic era, and you can clearly see different layers of quartz and igneous rocks. From above, though, the large space looks more like a product of design than of natural processes. You could almost believe it was a landing pad for a UFO, or that some large building was buried beneath the sand. It's a stunning example of how beautiful the world is, and something we'd have never known existed had it not been for the ability to image the surface of the Earth from space. In reality, there's a hotel there. And apparently, you can also get balloon rides. And no, guys, it's not the city of Atlantis. People have been saying that all over the internet lately. And now for number seven. But first, be sure to subscribe to Worldlist and click the notification bell for more videos like these. Number seven. Iranian Lake of Blood. Typically, bodies of water appear to be green or blue in color, but occasionally images are captured of something completely unexpected. And that's what happened in 2016, when NASA's Aqua satellite took images of Lake Ermia in Iran. Like many other seas, this one has been gradually shrinking for a long time, and the satellite was gathering evidence to chart the decline. In an image from April of that year, everything looked as you would expect. But by July, everything had changed, and the water was a deep crimson color. But now what would cause such a transformation? And the answer lies in what's been happening to the lake. With increased droughts, heat, and the need to take water from the lake for irrigation, the water levels are reducing, which has caused the salinity to increase. This makes it the ideal breeding ground for an algae called Dunaliella, which can cause water to turn red when it's present in high enough quantities. Number 6. Abandoned Missile Sites during the Cold War, the U.S. built hundreds of missile facilities, and it would allow them to retaliate if everyone's biggest fears came to pass. Between 1954 and the 1970s, more than 300 sites across the country were prepared, equipped with Nike missiles, a type of supersonic surface-to-air missile, 
some of which had nuclear warheads. And with the introduction of intercontinental ballistic missiles, the Nike missiles became obsolete and there was no longer a need to maintain the launch sites. Many fell into disrepair, were reclaimed by nature, or have been redeveloped for other military or civilian uses. Some can still be seen clearly by satellite from space though, like the Oahu Defense Area in Hawaii. As such an important part of the nation's history, efforts are underway to image and record as many of the sites as possible, so that the fears of the Cold War are not forgotten, and so future generations can see just how close close to the brink the world once came. Number 5. Tahal Volcano Tahal is a complex volcano in the Philippine island of Luzon. It's the second most active volcano in the country, and evidence has been found of 33 historical eruptions. This activity, along with the way that Tahal is comprised of multiple stratovolcanoes, hills, and a wide range of craters has led to the formation of a large lake, with an island at the center called Volcano Island. It's a beautiful place, but also one that is geographically rare. Volcano Island is where most volcanic activity is centered, and it itself has a main crater lake. And within this is another island called Vulcan Point, which has been formed by a rocky outcrop. This place is one of the world's largest islands in a lake on an island within another lake on an island, something that only becomes clear when you see satellite imagery of it. This entire region is a testament to the power of volcanoes and the unique geography that can form as a result of their activity. Number 4. The Boneyard have you ever wondered what happens to aircraft once they become too old or obsolete? Unfortunately, they don't tend to be taken apart and reused straight away, but instead they get sent to scrap yards, where they wait until their parts are needed or the decision is made to disassemble them. The largest of these places in the world is known as the Boneyard and is at the Davis Monthern Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. Military aircraft have been sent here since 1946 as it provides the perfect environment for storage. Its low humidity and rainfall along with its high altitude mean that aircraft can be stored and moved around here without the need for paving or hangars. Now after decades of planes being stored here, it now houses as many as 4,400 at any one time across its 2,600 acres. But it's only when you see images of it from above that you get a true sense of the scale of this place. Rows and rows of fighter jets and transport planes just sit there waiting for a new use. And it's a stark reminder of the US military's might particularly when it comes to aircraft, and it's a living museum that shows how far things have developed in the last 70 years. Number 3. Kazakhstan Pentagram In an isolated corner of Kazakhstan, eagle-eyed Google Earth researchers found something completely unexpected, a perfectly formed pentagram. Located on the southern shore of the Upper Tobol Reservoir, the structure is a long way from the nearest settlement of Lysakovsk, which is 12 miles to the east. The discovery of the structure woke the imaginations of conspiracy theorists who wanted to believe it was the work of the devil, but also of archaeologists who knew that the region is covered in the remains of Bronze Age settlements and that this could be a new discovery. The truth, though, is less exciting than either of those theories. But still important in relation to the area. It's actually the outline of a park that was made in the shape of a star while Kazakhstan was part of the Soviet Union. Stars were a popular symbol during the time and used to decorate flags and monuments. The lines are roadways, and now that trees are growing along with them, the shape is becoming even more visible when looked down on from above. Number 2. Spiral Artwork in 1997, near the Red Sea in Alguna, Egypt, the DASTR team created a stunning artwork called Desert Breath. It's a double spiral work of land art that covers an area of 25 acres and is made up of 98 protruding cones of increasing size in one spiral and 89 depressed cones of increasing size in the other. The sand dug from the depressed cones was used to construct the protruding ones, and at the center was a water feature that measured 98 feet across 
across. The water has now since evaporated, and the entire structure is subject to erosion, which means it will eventually return to the natural desert that it was before. This disintegration is a very slow process, though. And the artwork is still visible, now more than 20 years after it was created. Some of the most amazing images of it can be seen on Google Earth. So much so that you'd almost think the artist behind the Desert Breath intended for it to be viewed by satellite, long before Google Earth had even been developed. Number 1. Sudanese Lips now, it's been a game for a long time that when you see a Google car driving by, you try to get a body part captured for Street View. But in 2018, the largest body part ever found on Google Earth was discovered, a large set of lips in the Sudanese desert. Measuring more than two-thirds of a mile long, they're located in the sand near the village of Arawala in West Darfur. The trees dotted around the formation only serve to reinforce the lips' shape and the difference in color from the surrounding sands adds to the illusion. Now, what led to this forming, no one's actually really sure. There have been wild speculations, but most likely this is a naturally formed feature that, due to its unusual topography, has resulted in its surprising appearance. And it's very unlikely that it's man-made, since it's actually in the middle of nowhere. But people have been creating crop circles for decades, so I guess who knows. Thanks for watching, and feel free to share any crazy things you've seen on Google Earth. And also, let me know if you'd like to see a part two of this video in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to Worldless so I can see you next time.